In this video, what we're going to do is covering how to do imports and exports of CMS device files. Now, it's something that's a very important feature to be able to do because if you're a protection or SCADA engineer, you might need to create a settings template that you can then distribute to the field. Um, or alternatively, if you're working in, as a testing technician, then you'll need to be able to import the protection templates or the SCADA templates and push those settings into the controller. Um, and of course, if you're in any of those groups and you need support from Noja Power's service team, then usually what they're going to ask you for very firstly is, can we please have the CMS device file? So it's a fundamental thing to be able to do with the system. So let me show you how to do that. Now, I've got quite a full list of devices here in my device manager. So what we can do is I just want to use the example of this device template here and how we can export it. And it is a very simple feature, um, very simple function to be able to do this. So what we do is we click on device template. And we go to the device tab up the top here and we'll go to export device. Now, it's important to know the difference between export device and export offline settings. Export device exports everything that is associated with that particular file there. So that includes all of your field readings, your logs, the settings history, all the downloads, the uploads that you've done, so everything, the full system. Whereas if you want to do export the offline settings or the import your offline settings, what you're doing is usually just dealing with what lives here in the offline settings component, which for service reasons doesn't really give the full picture of what's going on with the controller because it only shows what that baseline template has, not all of the logging and other information with the device. Um, so we're going to cover the import and export and I'll go through that in a different video. So what we want to do is go to export device and I'm going to pick device template and over here if you click these um, three little dots we can choose where we want to put that so in this case I have made a folder on my desktop um, that I've called CMS device files so I'll say OK and choose that um, you can create a new folder and type in all that stuff there as well if you need to the entity group is interesting because if you select that that exports like whole group here that's associated with it that chain and in this case I don't need to do that so I'm just going to export the plain device file by making sure I tick the box it's going to the right place that I think it is and I click export so it'll create that data set and then push that out as a .noja file right so if I go across to my file explorer we'll see that yes here we go the device template um, with its serial number um, and it's a .noja file now, if you ever want to send for service, service support or analysis, please make sure that you send that and forward that on to Nodja Power because it's probably going to be the first response to you if you haven't sent it with. So it is something that you need to be able to do. Okay, so that's how you do an export and to do an import is very simple as well. So we'll go to import device um, and we can browse for it. So we can have a look go browse for it. Now, I could simply go to my CMS device files over here. I'm just going to re-import the same thing. Um, when you do that, it's going to flag the fact that there's a duplicate serial number, so it'll ask me to put in a new serial number, which is fine. Um, but if it's a field device, and if you've previously dealt with it, then yes, it will overwrite it, but um, you will get a warning on the way in anyway. So I'm just going to click it, select open, and it'll actually tell you what the version of CMS was and when it was created and who it was by, in this case, myself. There we go, next. And there we go. So, of course, because there's a conflict, we can either overwrite the new one, we can skip it, or we can create a new one. So this time around, I'm going to create a new device and call this import demo just to show you what that looks like. But you'll need a unique serial number. So I know that this number over here was the last one series so I'm going to make it stick an 8 on the end there we go continue and there we go so that's processing all the records that's associated with that individual file and successfully created as a new one now of course if you've been sent a settings file or a template from your protection group if you're working as a technician it's pretty likely that there's going to be an overwrite 
So what you want to do is just put in a um, any serial number that's unique, and you can use the copy function that we covered in another video to be able to bring the settings across with the device that you've got plugged in live. All right, uh, remember to subscribe and share, and hopefully that video was useful for you.